Good day, everyone. It's English time. For this week, let us talk about citing textual evidence. At the end of the lesson, you'll be able to cite evidence to support a general statement. Let us first have a short activity. Identify if the picture shows a helpful way of stopping the spread of COVID-19 in our society or not. Then, pick out the statement that supports your answer. Here is the first picture. Do you think this picture shows a helpful way of stopping the spread of COVID-19 in our society? How are you going to support your answer? Is it because the temperature check will determine if the person has the COVID-19 symptom or because thermal scanner cannot detect the body temperature of the person? Here is the second picture. What statement will support your answer? Because touching the hand of a person will melt the COVID-19 virus or because touching the hand of a person might cause the transfer of virus from one hand to another. Third picture. Does the picture shows a helpful way of stopping the spread of COVID-19 in our society? Is it because one meter away from each other prevents the virus from reaching its host or because keeping one meter away from each other will encourage the virus to reach its host? Here is the last picture. What statement will support your answer? Is it because wearing masks while talking protects the person from catching the saliva on an infected person or because wearing masks will suffocate the virus as well as the person causing them both to die? When we have ideas about what we read, we need to cite text evidence to support our claims. Now let us talk about text evidence. Text evidence uses specific examples and ideas from a text to help support and further define your own claims and ideas. It gives your words validity and strength. We are also going to encounter a general statement. It is a claim that needs to be proven. It presents the topic of a paragraph, essay, or book. It usually expresses the main point or main idea of a piece of writing. Let us have this example. The rainforest is home to many creatures. Monkeys, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals live in the rainforest. What is the general statement in this example? The rainforest is home to many creatures. This is the general statement that expresses the main idea of the given paragraph. This claim needs to be proven. So, what is the text evidence that supports the claim of the general statement? Monkeys, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals live in the forest. This sentence is the text evidence that supports the claim of the general statement. It uses specific examples like monkeys, birds, reptiles, and others to make the claim of the general statement valid. Now let us move on to the five points to remember in citing text evidence. First, read and understand the text thoroughly. It is important to read the text thoroughly so that you may be able to identify not only the main idea of the text, but also the specific details to support the main idea. Second, identify the general statement or the main idea from the text you read. When you are able to identify the general statement or the main idea of the text, it would be easier for you to cite or search for the text evidence to support your claims. Third, go back to the text to find supporting statements to give your claims valid. 
Once the general statement is identified, that's the time to look for some specific details from the text that will support the general statement or idea. Fourth, add the codes to your response. Finally, add the quotes of the author or use your own words to relay the idea of the author to support or explain your claim. And lastly, remember, not all ideas are explicitly stated in the text. Sometimes we have to make an inference. To do this, we use evidence from the text and our prior knowledge to understand the text better. This is also called to read between the lines. For example, you are talking in the class while the class discussion is ongoing and suddenly your teacher makes a frowning face. Based from the text and your prior knowledge, it can be inferred that your teacher is angry with you. This is the general statement. What evidence do we have about this claim? You are talking in the class while the class discussion is ongoing. Your teacher is trying to make a point in her discussion. Suddenly, she makes a frowning face. This is the text evidence through making inference. To summarize this week's topic, we talked about text evidence. When we have ideas about what we read, we need to cite text evidence to support our claims. And we have five points to remember in citing text evidence. Reach out if you have comments, questions, and more. That's all for today. Goodbye.